An ARP or arpeggiator automatically plays notes in a rhythmic pattern. To start, let's make sure our track is record armed and load an instrument onto it. Head over to Sounds and choose an instrument. You can do this by double clicking it or dragging and dropping it onto your chosen channel. When ARP mode is off, the launch key works like a regular keyboard. To turn ARP mode on, press the ARP button. Let's press a couple of keys and hear what it sounds like. To best explain your ARP controls, I'm going to latch a chord. Latching keeps the arpeggio playing even when you release the keys. To latch a chord, press SHIFT and ARP, then press your notes. In ARP mode, the screen shows what the A encoders control. You can adjust the ARP behaviour with these encoders. Encoder 1 controls the BPM. When connected in door mode, you won't be able to change the BPM. However, for this example, I'll show you how it changes. Encoder 2 controls a swing. Swing changes the rhythmic feel of your pattern. Encoder 3 controls the rate. Rate is used to control the subdivision of your arpeggiator. For this example, I'm going to mute everything but the drums so you can hear each ARP rate with a steady rhythm. Quarter note. Quarter note triplet. Eighth note. Eighth note triplet. Sixteenth note. Sixteenth note triplet. And then thirty second note. I'm going to take it back to sixteenth note. Encoder four controls the gate. This controls how long each note is. Encoder 5 controls the type. This controls the order of which your notes are played. Encoder 6 is the octave. This sets the octave arrangement of the arpeggiator. Encoder 7 controls the mutate. As we increase the mutate value, it will add variation by adding notes to your ARP sequencer. When you hit zero, mutate is off. And encoder eight controls the rhythm. As we turn the encoder on screen, you'll see the rhythmic pattern of your ARP change. To help you understand the next part of the video, turn encoder eight all the way to the left. Turn your latch notes off, hold shift and then ARP. Your launch keys ARP pattern provides a visual representation of your arpeggiator on the pads, giving you full control over its rhythm by allowing you to enable and disable steps. Let's turn latch back on by holding shift and ARP and play some notes. Now to activate ARP pattern, press shift 
and art pattern. In this pad view, you have more control over your rhythm. Your pads will show the rhythm cycling through. If your pads aren't completely lit, make sure encoder 8, rhythm, is turned all the way to the left. As I start to press pads, you'll hear rests being added in the middle of your art pattern. And when I press them again, they come back. The eighth encoder, rhythm, will suggest different rhythms. I'm going to turn all the pads off for a second, so nothing plays through. You can also manipulate the notes within the pattern using the function button. Let's turn our pattern back on and go through the effects. Hit the pads directly below the lit up pattern pads to apply the effect. The first function is accent. This will emphasize certain notes. Press the function button to move on to the next effect. Next is ratchet. This will trigger a note twice. Finally, tie will tie notes together. To stop the pattern playing, press ARP. I'm going to start jamming through some ideas using the ARP and ARP pattern modes. I'm going to skip some bits as some of these ideas take time to generate. But here's an idea of some of the steps I went through. Turning the ARP off helps you trigger the notes into your recording more accurately, rather than letting it run until you press record again. Let's start recording. Turn the ARP back on by pressing the ARP button. Make sure only your chosen track is record armed. Press record on your launch key. Listen out for the eight clicks. And then start performing your ARP pattern. When you're done recording, hit the stop button. In this instance, I press the stop button in time, so there's no need to adjust my loop. If yours isn't looping, open the clip you've just recorded and drag the loop brace back to the end of your drum pattern. <laughs> 